Today we're going to talk about conduit fill, chapter 9. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about conduit fill. We need to understand that in chapter 9, table 1, that's going to tell us our information on our cross-sectional area of the size of conductors we can put in a conduit. Now, what does all of that mean? Well, it basically means that if you were to open up the code book to chapter 9 and say to yourself, okay, I have a certain size conduit, I have certain type wire, what do I do? How do I know if those wires will fit in that conduit? We can't just take a piece of conduit and shove little pieces of wire in it and see if it fits. That's not the right way to do it. The right way to do it is to open up the code book to chapter 9, table 1 and read the percentage of cross-sectional area based on wire size. So as you can see, in table one, percentage of cross-sectional of conduit and tubing conductors, one is taken, one, one conductor is taken at 53%, two conductors at 31%, and over two is taken at 40%. Okay, so what do we do with this information? Well, we're gonna open up the code book to chapter nine, table four, and because EMT is our most common conduit that we use, we're going to want to make sure we highlight it in our book. So we're going to have to put a few notes on that in order for us to know what numbers we're going to be using. So let's take a look. When I look at chapter 9, table 4, and I see EMT, okay, you're going to want to highlight that. What you're going to see is a couple things. You're going to see trade size, okay, that's the size of our conduits. You're going to see over two wires, 40%. You're going to see 60%. One wire, 53%. Two wires, 31%. And then a nominal internal diameter. And then total area, 100%. So basically, what does this mean? This means that that is 100% everything we need to know about EMT conduit. So we're going to, primar we're going to primarily use the over two 40% in square inches. So what I would do is highlight that in my code book. As a side note, I'm gonna label 60% nipples because that's what the code allows me for a nipple, 60% in a nipple. We'll talk about that in another video. We're only gonna focus on the two wires over 40% today. So how do I size a conduit? We need to know three things. We need to know size of the conductor. We need to know type of insulation of the conductor. And we need to know what kind of conduit we're going to be using, whether it be EMT, RMC, IMC, so on and so forth. So what do we do if we have different size insulation types going into the same conduit? See, we can go into Annex C if we have the same conductor insulation type, doesn't matter the size wire, we, we can go through and figure out same size insulation type, and it's gonna tell us what our number is already based on the code, 40%. What we're gonna do is we're gonna size two different size insulations, okay? Same size conductor, different size insulations and we're going to see if we can fit it in an EMT conduit today. So to find insulation types we're going to go into chapter 9 table 5 and that is going to bring us to our insulation types and it will help us size the it'll help us find the size of the wire. So what do we do? Now we're going to open up the code book to chapter 9 table 5 and we're going to know what size insulation we're looking for what's the size of our conductor, and we're going to be looking for the approximate area in square inches. That's the three things we need to know going into Table 5 in Chapter 9. So, let's do an example. For this example, we're going to use three THHN 1 off, and we're going to use three XHHW 250 KC mil. Now, we're using two different types of insulation, so we have to make sure that we get the correct approximate area from table five in chapter nine. So what do we do? Well, we go into the 
code and we check this out. As you can see, THHN one off is 0.1855 and XHHW 250 KC mil is 0.3904. Now that's great. Well, what do we do? Well, what we have to do is we have to add them up. So we know we have three THHN and we know we have three XHHW. What we're going to do now is we're going to add them together. Okay? And we will get 0.5565. And then for XHHW, we'll have. one point one seven one two we have to add the two together because remember we're taking these six conductors and we're putting them in the conduit so what we're going to do is we're going to add them together okay so now we have it squared away we know we have our three thhn and we totaled out our 0.5565 that's three and then three xhhw equaled uh, one point one seven one two so now what we have to do in order to find out what size conduit we need, we now have to do this. We now have to add this together to figure out what we have to do. We're going to come up with 1.7277. Now, what we have to do is we have to go back to chapter uh, 9, table 4, look under EMT, find our area Okay, at 40%, and we've got to find the square inches and we've got to run that down until we find, we see 1.342, uh, and then we come down to 2.343. So when we see that 1.3, 1.3 is smaller than 1.7, so we have to go to the next available size, which would be 2.343, which is EMT two and a half inch. It really is that simple. All we have to do is know that we have to go to chapter nine, table five, and find our insulation type. Then we're going to go to chapter 9 table 4 so we're just going to flip back we're going to find our pipe that we're going to be using or a conduit whether it be EMT, IMC, RMC and we're going to find area of square inches based on 40 percent because we are over two conductors okay so we want to make sure that we know how to navigate that section of the code book okay if you've followed along with your code book, you should have had your code book out and highlighted all those, those spots that we talked about because again, that's gonna make your job that much easier when you either A, go take your test or B, actually have to do it when you get out in the field. Make little notes, okay? This is something that you always should remember. You know, yes, you can go to the annex if you have the same insulation type because that's already figured the 40% for you, but you always have to make sure that you stay on top of the code changes to see if there's anything that's going to change with the notes. Okay. So with that being said, I hope this, you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or know another way that you could do this, leave me a comment down below. Love to hear from you guys. So with that being said, have a great day and be safe.